Hello and welcome to another video in our news database series. For today's video, we will be going over how to use the database Nexus Yumi. We will be addressing things like when it would be best to use Nexus Yumi, as well as some of the special features this database offers. Please keep an eye out for other videos that are a part of the series as we will be releasing a few other videos about other news databases and how to use them as well. If you haven't looked at the main news database video, I would recommend checking it out before proceeding with this video. The main news database video details what to look for when choosing a news database, as well as some other important details to consider. You'll see the link to the main video in the bottom right corner of the screen, so be sure to give it a look when you have the chance. Before we get into how to use Nexus Uni, what exactly is Nexus Uni? As per the databases about a section on their website, Nexus Uni, or LexisNexis Legal and Professional, is a leading global provider of legal, regulatory, and business information and analytics that help customers increase productivity, improve decision-making and outcomes, and advance the rule of law around the world. This means that as users that have access to this database, we have access to things such as full-text documents, international and Canadian news, legislation, company profiles, industry reports, and more. This is important to us as information and media students because it allows us to view how information about a certain subject has changed over time which can be useful when completing certain assignments. While the business information is less relevant to us as information and media students, the wide scope of newspapers is definitely an asset. Accessing Nexus Uni is fairly straightforward. We'll start by accessing the Western Library's website. You'll likely be accessing this website a lot during your time as a student, so I'd recommend bookmarking it for easier access. To quickly get to this website, you can just type in www.lib.uwo.ca and it should bring you to this main website. Once you've reached the Western Library's website, we're going to scroll down to the section that's labeled Top Databases, as you see here. And then we're going to scroll down and click on the More Databases link. This will bring us to an alphabetical list of every database that Western offers. From here, you can either scroll down and click N and scroll down to Nexus Uni, or you can type Nexus Uni, enter the search bar and hit enter, and it should come up right here. If you're accessing the website from off campus, a page that looks like this will pop up asking for your Western credentials. You will just have to fill in the information as you normally would and then hit sign in and you should be redirected to the database website afterwards. Once signed in, this is the homepage you will be greeted with. Nexus Uni has a minimalistic design which makes it very easy to find the functions and features you may need to access when completing research. On the homepage, you'll find a search bar, a guided search option, COVID-19 quick searches, Canada, international and secondary content, as well as a discover topics section. For the moment, we're going to focus on the search bar function at the very top of the page. Now you'll see a very basic search bar with the options to refine your search by date and or by content type. Since we're accessing this database on the basis of accessing news content, I'm just going to change the content type to news. From here, you'll see various kinds of news content available, so you can check off different options if you're looking for resources in a specific format, or leave it as is to access all news content. Now, you can leave your search as is, or if you're looking to refine your search a bit more, you can access the advanced search option bar, which will be located just below the main search bar. Now, once you've clicked on the advanced search button, immediately you'll notice that there's now a few more options available to help refine your search. The biggest difference being the inclusion of Boolean operators. If you've never used Boolean operators before or still aren't 100% sure how to use them, not to worry. One of the best things about Nexus Uni is its help sections, as you can see over here, and definitions. So for example, if you click on the and button here in the second search bar, 
you'll see the option to change the term, but you'll also see a definition beside the term that helps explain when and how you would use that term in a search. If you don't want to click through the options every single time, there's also a term connectors button on the side of the page that will display the list of terms as well and what they mean. Below the term connectors button, you'll also find additional definitions and help if you are looking to refine your search even more. So just as an example, we'll do a search together to demonstrate how to complete a search on Nexus Uni. We'll start by putting in a simple search term like Canada. If we're looking for a topic specifically about Canada, then we would fill in the second search bar with the topic that we want. In this case, I'm going to put in tax returns since it is tax season. And from here, we'll refine our search by a specific date or time period. We can either select a specific date, article before a set date, articles after a set date, or articles within a specific time range. For the sake of ease, I'm just going to set the date range as articles written before today's date. And then I'll hit search. And as you can see, there is still a lot of articles for us to go through, even though we've refined our search. If you're still feeling a bit overwhelmed by the search results that you get, or are looking to get even more specific, you can turn your attention to the sidebar on the left-hand side of the screen. If you scroll down, you'll see that there are many more options to refine your search even more, including by timeline, location by publication, and even by industry. Once you've refined your search to your liking, we're going to go ahead and click on the first article here, top of the page, and we're going to explore what features are offered by Nexus Uni within a document. At the top of the document, you'll see that there are a variety of different ways to share this document, including by Google Drive, OneDrive, and even by email. Additionally, you will also see a drop-down tab for terms. If you're looking to specifically highlight the portions of the document that discuss the specific search terms you used, um, for example, if you only wanted to focus on the tax returns portion of this document, you could click on the tax returns term under this tab and it will highlight every single time the term tax return has, has been used in this article. Another useful feature within Nexus Uni is the ability to search within articles. So if you're struggling to find a section of a longer article that you wanted to know earlier on, the search bar is a great way to quickly find your spot without having to scour through the entire document again. Lastly, if you struggle with citations, Nexus Uni has an export citation choice available within its articles that allows you to cite the article that you're using. Another perk of this feature is that you're able to choose what citation format you would like to use when exporting your citation. This is great for when you want to quickly switch between the citation styles if you're looking for articles for a variety of assignments. So we've gone over a lot of content today, but these are just some basics to get you started with the program. I would encourage you to continue exploring Nexus Uni whenever possible to help you become more comfortable with this database, as well as the features that it offers. This concludes our short demonstration on how to use Nexus Uni. However, if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to the FIMS Graduate Library. As I mentioned earlier as well, um, you can also reference our main news database video as we go over some key items to keep in mind when selecting a news database. Another thing to keep an eye out for are the rest of the videos in our series. We hope to see you in our next video.